Dave Weish, and I'm going to read from the Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie, which is about a boy named Junior growing up on the Spokane Indian Reservation. I draw all the time. I draw cartoons of my mother and father, my sister and grandmother, my best friend Rowdy, and everybody else on the res. I draw because words are too unpredictable. I draw because words are too limited. If you speak and write in English, or Spanish, or Chinese, or any other language, then only a certain percentage of human beings will get your meaning. But when you draw a picture, everybody can understand it. If I draw a cartoon of a flower, then every man, woman, and child in the world can look at it and say, that's a flower. So I draw because I want to talk to the world, and I want the world to pay attention to me. I feel important with a pen in my hand. I feel like I might grow up to be somebody important. An artist, maybe a famous artist, maybe a rich artist. That's the only way I can become famous and rich. Just take a look at the world. Almost all of the rich and famous brown people are artists. They're singers and actors and writers and dancers and directors and poets. So I draw because I feel like it might be my only real chance to escape the reservation. I think the world is a series of broken dams and floods, and my cartoons are like tiny lifeboats.